done a lot of different undead characters and we've done all sorts of bone-like characters and, and vampires and stuff like that. And so we got stuck on this statement of the party side of undead. And so when we started looking into this, we started grabbing some kind of Latin American influences and some Spanish influences and a bunch of other uh, different things that we see around in, in other cultures. And we ended up with Fiesta. Fiesta is a really awesome character. I, I love this character. He's like the head of a mariachi band. I think Fiesta is my favorite supercharger. He's got a really great attitude, and the musical note abilities for his weapons and his power set is a really great theme. This idea of an undead mariachi band leader was just so hysterical, and the idea of throwing a party as what he did was just too much fun to, to not delve into. The story with Fiesta is that he used to play the court of Count Moneybone, and so it's a, a fun way to kind of lean into a villain story. Obviously, he realized what was really going on there and became a Skylander. He's running around with his, his trumpet horn. He's got this snappy dance musicality to him. So he's got the trumpet gun, and he's got lots of different moves and abilities based on playing musical notes. And you wouldn't expect a mariachi band leader to also be such an incredible fighter, but he really is. But by far, like, the most fun aspect are his amigos, his mariachi backup band that gives him support during combat. The combat style for Fiesta is, it's all about that beat, that music. You know, you see him, even when he's sitting there, he's tapping his foot, you know, he's got that thing going on. That charm in just his movements, how he runs around, you know, how he conducts himself, plays really well with the undead character. But from a tactical standpoint, he's our damage over time. He's the one who's gonna set a bunch of enemies out dealing with his amigos and then play it safe, which is a great way to actually hurt enemies after they've even got to a point where you can't touch them anymore. With Crit Pressure, we wanted something that obviously worked really, really nice with Fiesta. We had this early on design where we had this big back wheel. It wasn't uh, Crit Crusher yet, but we really liked the way it looked, you know, like the silhouette was really strong. So we're like, well, let's take that design, let's put the coffin in there and uh, see how that looked. And it just turned out really nice. Crip Crusher, the coffin car as we used to call it, very customizable in its look and feel. The combat style for the Crip Crusher was really playing up that big back wheel. You know, we really wanted that to stand out and kind of have you know, a lot of fun kicking up the spectral like ghosts coming out the back of that. And when, when he shoots, it's all, again, based around the horns and you know, you can hear it. The great thing about Crip Crusher and Fiesta are really the amigos. They're really the kind of punchline to that joke. And they're present with both of them. So if you're riding in the Crip Crusher, you've got your team of amigos that ride on board. And so your amigos are always with you, whether you're in the car, or whether you're on foot fighting chaos. He was one of our favorite before he even got fully built. And it's awesome to see that the fans kind of agree. Let's dance! Ooh, high above! Nice. <laughs> it's party time.